Dark Diaries. Ah, my dear Fright fans, tonight's tale is about a man whose heart was as cold as his cash, but even a frozen bank account can thaw in the heat of a ghostly flame. So, click that subscribe button and ring the bell if you dare for tonight's spine-chilling story, Scrooge's Final Haunting. In the shadowed heart of Derry, Maine, where the extraordinary often masquerades as the mundane, Harold Greaves lived in a mansion that was a relic of grander times. Its windows, like the eyes of a judgmental ancestor, surveyed the town. Harold, a man whose wealth was as vast as his heart was barren, was feared and loathed in equal measure. Harold's journey to bitterness began in his youth, marked by a harsh father who valued gold over kindness. The young Harold, once full of dreams and warmth, slowly hardened, his heart calcifying with each scornful word and cold dismissal. The love he lost, Emily, a woman of laughter and light, left him because she couldn't thaw his growing coldness, a decision that haunted his dreams. On a Christmas Eve, frigid and silent under a blanket of snow, the ghostly echoes began. Jacob Marley, Harold's late partner, appeared shackled in chains. His warning was dire, three spirits would visit, each a mirror to Harold's soul. The ghost of Christmas past was a cruel wraith, dragging Harold through a montage of loss and regret. He relived the moment he turned his back on Emily, her tearful eyes a reflection of his own unspoken pain. His betrayal of a friend in need, a choice that led to tragedy, unfolded before him. But it was the ghost of Christmas present who unveiled the deeper horror. The spirit showed Harold the ripple of his cruelty through Derry. More chilling was the revelation of a dark entity, thriving on the despair Harold had sown. This malevolent force, a spectral parasite, was growing, feeding off the town's misery. In Derry's local pub, a subplot unfolded amongst the townsfolk. Joe, a man whose business Harold had callously foreclosed, spoke of a strange darkness that seemed to loom over the town, an oppressive weight that stifled hope. It was a sentiment echoed by others, tales of misfortune seemingly tied to Harold's own actions. The ghost of Christmas yet to come was a nightmarish specter, its face a void more terrifying than any creature. It revealed a future where Harold was consumed by the entity, his humanity eroded into nothingness. The town too was doomed, swallowed by this growing darkness. Desperation gripped Harold. He pleaded, bargaining for a chance to rewrite his fate. The spirit, silent and relentless, left a lingering fear more profound than any words. Awakening on Christmas morning, Harold was reborn. His first act, surprising even himself, was a public one. He visited Joe's pub, offering to restore the foreclosed properties and invest in the community. The townsfolk, stunned, witnessed a man transformed. Harold's transformation was not just in deeds, but in the very essence of his being. His mansion, once a somber fortress, gradually became a beacon of hope. As he repaired his home, fixing broken windows and clearing the overgrown garden, it seemed to reflect his inner change. The entity, starved of Harold's bitterness, faded into a mere wisp of darkness, defeated by the light of his newfound humanity. Harold, in his final years, became a beloved figure, his story a testament to the power of change. In Derry, they still speak of Harold Greaves not as a miser, but as a man who found redemption in the twilight of his life. His legacy lived on, not in the wealth he left behind, but in the lives he touched, a reminder that even the coldest heart can find warmth in the embrace of kindness. It's never too late to rewrite your ghostly fate, just don't wait for a spectral visit to start. Leave us a comment about what you'd do if a ghost from your past paid a visit, and join us next time for more terrifying tales. Fright fans, click next for more chills, and hit subscribe to join our ghastly gang. You see, who dares to miss out, so watch our next video.